what she described is actually really classic for this. It, the formal name for it is called a subungual, which, which means under the nail melanoma. And this is a malignant tumor. So even though a lot of times people will dismiss skin cancer because if they are caught early, like yours, completely curable, you're absolutely right. Something like this, if caught late, will spread to your lymph nodes elsewhere in your body and can actually potentially kill you. That, in fact, one of the things I always tell my patients about this diagnosis is this is something that can also really frequently happen in skin of color because African-American, Hispanic, Asian people don't necessarily think they're at risk for skin cancer. And then you can start to develop this discoloration. Please don't ignore it if it's starting to spread under the nail, if it's starting to spread to the skin. This is actually what killed Bob Marley. He had metastasis from a subungual melanoma on spread toe. on his toe, exactly. Right. Well, Dr. Potter, you and I both treat this and you know, the, the, the takeaways here is if you see anything on your body anywhere, pigmented lesions that are changing, in this case, it happened to be under your nail, you've got to act on it. You've got to get a diagnosis, you got biopsy. What they did then, they checked the level, the depth of this particular melanoma, and that dictated what the treatment was. So yes, they had to remove your, your nail bed, your nail matrix, but the good news is you could have lost your finger, so you, you did the right thing and caught it in time. Yes, yeah, so going into my first surgery, they actually thought that they were going to have to amputate my whole thumb. So when I went into surgery, that's what I was expecting. So it was kind of a really big surprise, a good surprise for my family and I when I got out of my first surgery and I still had my thumb. Carolyn, do you still get your nails done? I do. I still do go to the nail salon here and there whenever I can, but I only get a manicure. Uh, I, ever since I got diagnosed, I've never put my nails under the lights, so now it's yeah. just strictly manicures. Yeah, and, and I think that, Carolina, for people who do are traveling or for whatever reason still do acrylics or do gel nails, if they have to put their hands under light, things they can do is put an SPF 30 on their hands in advance, preferably a broad spectrum zinc-based product. Or many of my patients who are gonna go on vacation, they have to go get those gel nails, I'll tell them to get gloves and cut off the tips so that just their nails are in the light. I mean, ideally just avoid this. I completely agree, Carolina. Stick with your regular manicure, yes. but if you must, try to protect your skin and your nails as much as you can, for sure. Well, Carolina, we certainly appreciate you sharing your story. Best of luck yes, with everything you so in your life. And if you're watching and you want more information on melanoma and to learn the ABCDEs of skin cancer, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. And stay tuned for later in our show, our doctor's prescription. Dr. Botcher is going to give you great tips on how to prolong your regular manicure. I can't wait. It's yeah. important stuff. A trip to the manicurist helped a beauty queen find a hidden case of cancer. What to watch out for? If I would have waited two weeks, I would have spread throughout my whole body. And then the jury is out in doctor's court. They claim oysters left the husband paralyzed for months. Plus, if it's bizarre and in the ER, we're covering it on the doctor. If you've ever been constipated, you know it can be uncomfortable. You know it could turn deadly. All new.